All great victories start with a journey. There is sweat. There is blood. There are tears. These only prepare you for the final struggle. The training takes time and dedication. It prepares you for the razor sharp focus needed as you compete against your rivals. Through training, weakness has become strength. The fight has already been determined. It's go time! O sixty four. I-27. B-1. Bingo! Bingo! I-28. Bingo! Whoopee! N-35. Bingo! 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 Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, and I'm not teaching the art of B-I-N-G-O to these old farts. I'm fixing your ATMs. I'm TJ, and this is another episode of TJ's Tips. For today's tip, we're gonna go over a seemingly daunting task, but it's actually pretty simple. And that is Gen Mega or Hantle software downloads. The first step would be to determine what kind of mainboard you have. The ACU-1 motherboard is only used in the C4000 machines and is characterized by a socket-style video connector in the upper right-hand corner. Hantel then upgraded to an ACU-3 or 5 motherboard, which looked very similar. It's characterized by a ribbon-style video connector on the bottom of the board or a socket-style video data connector in the top right corner. It also only has one USB port in the top right corner. The ACU-6 motherboard is being used in all of the newer machines today and is characterized by two USB ports as well as a label calling it the ACU6 motherboard. It's important that you load the right software for the right motherboard. However, the software loading procedures are actually the same between all three motherboards. After you determine the mainboard type that you have in your machine, you're going to want to log into our website www.atmequipment.com to download the proper software. You'll need to log in or register, if you haven't already, to our website in order to download software. After logging in, simply go up to our support toolbar here, scroll down to ATM machine software downloads, and filter through the manufacturer and machine type that you are loading software to. Today we're going to load to an Onyx. You'll see that there are three different files. You have the full software suite for the Gen Mega Onyx machine. You have a journal viewer software. And you also have the AP recovery files. Today we're going to do the full software suite. Click on the file download. While the file is downloading, you're going to want to insert your 2 gig or smaller SD card into your computer. Open up your SD card by going to My Computer and select the file as well as opening up your downloaded folder. The Onyx only came with an ACU6 motherboard, so you will only see an ACU6 file here. For other machines, you'll see an ACU1, ACU3 or 5, and ACU6, and you'll want to download the software to the SD card accordingly. You'll want to double-click on the Onyx ACU6, copy and paste the two files into your SD card. Simply remove the SD card, from your computer and you're ready to download it into the ATM. Now I'm going to show you how extremely complicated it is to load software to an Onyx machine. With the machine turned off, slide forward your fascia and insert your SD card into the motherboard. Make sure it locks in place. Last step is to simply turn on your machine with the SD card inserted and allow it to boot up like normal. It will automatically pull the software as the machine boots up. After it fully boots up, you'll want to remove the SD card and go back to playing your bingo game. B-9. 
nine. Oh, yes. Bingo, losers! Then I'd whack him. <laughs> losers! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Was that too much? Oh. <laughs>